There can't be two Alpha Titans. Who bows to who? Kong bows to no one. There's something provoking into war. All right, guys, what is going on? First thing I want to say today is happy Thanksgiving. Today, as of right now, as I'm filming this, it is Thanksgiving. I plan on getting this video up today. So hopefully everything goes well and we get the video up today. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope you eat some good turkey, have some good times. Like I said, sorry, videos have been delayed. A lot of things going on, a lot of craziness going on right now with me, kids. And it's getting dark at 4.30. So with my job and everything else, it is incredibly hard to get videos like out right now because i'm not coming out here into complete darkness and filming so i hope you guys understand that that's why it's taking a well like over a week to get videos out plus we're waiting on some things uh waiting for steve so we can get this build going here uh yes i did want to race the charger i just haven't had the time guys I'm really sorry just haven't had the time just trying to find the time to do the things you know but today's video we're going to talk about something that i've been thinking about actually since the trx came out and that would be putting a trx drivetrain in my Whipple supercharged Ram. Yes, this is a four door, four wheel drive Ram, and it is Whipple supercharged. If you don't know, uh, we are going to have a fully forged 392. I have that in the garage. I'll show you guys that in a second. But that, you know, I'm wondering if we can do actually put a TRX drivetrain in my Whipple supercharged Ram. Reasons why, I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. But I do want to get a cold start. I haven't had a nice cold start in this thing in a little bit. You know, if, you know, at least it was probably last video. But for me, that was like two weeks ago in a video, almost like 12 days. Get a nice cold start in the video. And then I want to talk about putting a TRX drivetrain in my Whipple Supercharged four-door, four-wheel drive Ram. And can it be done? Or can anyone, you know, think of someone that could possibly do it? Because that would be the actual ultimate goal to make this thing, to see its full potential quicker than I would like. So... Get a cold start in ram and uh we'll talk about you know this possibility of the trx drivetrain channel this is the new awe exhaust obviously the awe catback exhaust from awe i had an mvrp on here but in my opinion this thing sounds absolutely 10 times better in my opinion this is the best sounding exhaust for the rams yes i do have catless long tube headers and a cam so it is louder than what it's going to be on a stock ram but it's also 35 degrees out but as you can tell she sounds so good. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel here, also, you know, I know I've probably shown this in a lot of late videos. This is a fully forged 392 built as you can see, beautiful. Nine and a half for one compression, built by BES. I uh, ordered it through HHP. Here's AWE exhaust we have. So yeah, that's what we have for that. And here's all the stuff for the 392 swap. We have more stuff coming, so. Let's go over what this whole video is about. And that is putting a TRX drivetrain in this Ram. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, it is freezing out 37 degrees, as my truck says, so I'm leaving the truck running while I'm doing this, which I usually don't like to do because it's choppy. Usually, you know, like you can hear me a little better. Hopefully, you can hear me crystal clear. But, uh, yes, that's what I want to talk about, the TRX drivetrain. The reason I say I want to put a TRX drivetrain in this is basically because there's a guy out there. I think his name is Billy Weber. Um, he went 9.5 in his TRX. 9.5, full weight four-wheel drive it's all all the time four-wheel drive now full weight being 30 or 6300 pounds 
And I think the only uh, weight reduction was, I think, tires. I think he just did 18-inch uh, drag radials on the stock tires, on the stock wheels, I think. He did, it, like I said, a 9.5 uh, and a stock Hellcat motor, stock TRX motor. So absolutely amazing. Yes, he did spray, obviously. He uh, ran running boost and spray. It's probably it's over 1,000 horsepower. It's an insane truck, but running 9.5. Man, that is awesome. The reason I said a TRX drivetrain, number one, this is a four four wheel drive truck, uh, four doors. I don't even know if the TRX drivetrain will fit in this, but in my opinion, if I could literally get that whole upgraded system in here, that would be the best thing to possibly for this Ram. Now, I would love to just, you know, um, let, me, let me think how I wanna say this. With the motor we have, everything that we have, we're gonna put the motor in, we're gonna throw boost at it, this thing's gonna run. It ran, it's best so far is 1120, very good weather, probably similar weather to this, very cold MS109, race gas, fully, you know, got it. The only thing was on was this seat and uh, drag pack. We went 1120, and we're, we were weighing, I'd say, around the 4,900 pound range, you know what I mean? We're not running much power, eight pounds of boost. Probably, I'll say my guess around the 600 wheel horsepower range. Nothing crazy, nothing, nothing like small, but nothing crazy, nothing little, nothing big. But with the motor we have, it's capable of well over a thousand. That thing you can throw anything at. It's made for 20 pounds of boost. We want low compression. We can throw it all at that motor, and it's going to take it. Now, what's not going to take it? Transmission. 99%. I mean. The, uh, the transfer case is strong on these. I don't know many people that have broken them. I got the Borg Warner 4445, which is the stronger one than the 4444, because the 4444 is, uh, has, uh, like, uh, uh, it has the auto feature for your four wheel drive. And from what I'm hearing, that the clutches with the auto in and out can really mess up shit. So I, I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. I'm not 100% sure. Mine has been very good in four wheel drive. No issues so far. Ran a lot of times on the track in four wheel drive. Nowadays, I don't really run the track in four-wheel drive. I do two-wheel drive because I can throw a 15-inch tire on and some front skinnies and lose some weight with that. And it's less stress on this drivetrain being this is really not made to go in four-wheel drive all the time. It's made for four-wheel drive, but not 100% all the time. So that's the main reason we run two-wheel drive and, you know, it's running its best. And I like two-wheel drive right now. But a TRX drivetrain would be, you know, front diff, transfer case, you know, obviously the uh, transmission, which is the biggest thing. You know, the whole drivetrain, really just, you know, front to back, front diff, transfer, everything. I would love to see if it's possible to put that in here and, you know, run it like that because then I would have no issues running, breaking, like, train uh, axles, pinion. Like, that's the first thing that's going to probably go in this is probably going to be the trans. It's probably going to start slipping. We're going to be running some power. The amount of power that I'm estimating to run on the, the stock trans is around the 700, maybe a little bit more. And that's only on pump gas, guys. We're not even gonna, I'm not even gonna probably try and run race gas. There's no need for it right now because we're gonna basically max the transmission out on just pump gas alone, which in my opinion is gonna be great because I don't gotta spend $100 every time I wanna put five gallons of gas in. So until we build the trans or anything crazy like that, we're just gonna run some pump gas. Good amount of boost it could take. We could turn it up really good because like I said, we went with a, with a nine and a half to one compression. You guys don't know, Hellcats are all nine and a half to one compression, TRX, Red Eye, Demon, even the um, new GT, the 2020, 2021 GT500 are all nine and a half compression. You know, people like to run higher compression around E85. I'm not the biggest fan sold on E85 yet. I like race gas and I like running 93. 93 on the street and I always ran race gas at the track. So for next season, before we can get the trans built and all that, we're running 93 all the time. Now, if we can maybe up it a little bit and see what we can do to try to get a better number, yeah, we'll do that because the, the motor's going to be able to handle it. I ain't going to worry about blowing nothing. Like, oh, no, that's... Yeah, TRX drivetrain, guys. Let me know if you if there's a possibility of doing it. I know MMX has done some cool stuff to a lot of other Rams. I know they did the HP. Uh, they've done an eight-speed swap. I know they put, you know, built transes in them and stuff. The built trans is obviously what I would, I wanted to do at first because the trans, I want to be able to build it and maybe take anything I could give it. But then we're finding weak points. You know, the uh, what's going to be next is going to be the ring opinion is going to be a weak point. The um, transfer case is going to be a weak point because if we start turning it up to 800, 900 horsepower, those things you're going to find are going to start failing. You know what I mean? Not many four-wheel drive rams out there are going to be, running the full-on power most of them are two-wheel drive rams and with two-wheel drive rams you really just need 
the right rear, because we already have a Detroit True Track rear. The rear will hold. The rear's not going to explode or blow. The axles could break. Obviously, Matt Fecak's broken them. The pinion he snapped. Jason Dorea snapped the pinion. So, but, you know, both of them on the pinion part have put a 350 but both broken 321 gears. Then they put a 355 in and haven't broken the pinion. So if we break the pinion, like, just the way it's now, we're probably going to have to go to 355 gear, which is fine because we're going up in gearing a little bit. And hopefully that'll hold until we can really turn it up really good. So, yeah, I would love to put a TRX drivetrain in this because then I can put four-wheel drive all the time, street launches, everything. This thing would eat. And when I mean eat, all right, put it this way. Uh, 6,300-pound TRX went 9.5. I'm going to be running my, my race weight with me in it around the 52, 5,100, 5,200 range around there. So we're going to be 1,000 pounds less. So this thing would have easily nine second capability without even a question about nine second capability. It's just making everything else hold up to the nine second capability. Transmission, everything. And not many guys have even went nines in the Ram. I think Jason and Matt are the only two to do it in the Ram 1500s. TRX is, I think only one guy has done it, but a lot of these TRXs on blower only are fast and they are all running full weight. So putting that drivetrain in there with my fully forged 392 motor, we would absolutely be absolutely ripping on the street, man. Right, sorry about that, guys. The camera keeps cutting out on me. Don't know why. So we're going to finish this video up. And, uh, yeah, if you guys know anything about it, let me know. If, if, it's, if it's possible, I would love to be a, you know, a goat, a scapegoat, sponsor, whatever. Anything I could do to possibly have this happen and maybe get this going. But I doubt that will even happen. But uh, can't hurt to try. If you guys know anything, put it in the comments. Let me know. Hit me up on uh, Instagram Messenger or Facebook on my, uh, you know, Incredible Heavy website. And know if you know anyone that would want to maybe try a possibility what we can do. But uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one and uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Happy Thanksgiving.